Hometown Heroes is a 501c3 that was formed about four years ago. And in a nutshell, our mission is to help people in a crisis. And that has not been more important than it has over the past six months with Hurricane Sandy, because this has been the largest crisis to hit this area. The money goes directly to the people. With Hurricane Sandy, we've gotten three grants from the Robin Hood Foundation, and we have raised $1.3 just for Hurricane Sandy, and the money always goes directly to the people that need it. We cut through the red tape, and we help people with those immediate needs that they have. What do you need right now? Food, shelter, clothing. Um, that's where the money goes. Organizations like this are what's needed. There's a lot of people out there collecting money, but what percentage of it is really going to the, to the people? This organization makes sure it gets there, and that's why we're so strong behind it. Who's going to tell you, you know, you apply online and say, well, maybe something will happen. Maybe I'll get my electric paid for. Somebody put a new furnace in. Well, you know what? They did. I had a guy knock on the door the other day, and he said, Hometown Heroes called me and said they're putting a new furnace, and I'm finally going to have heat. These are the kind of things that are gratifying to me to have the relationship with Hometown Heroes and Robin Hood and make things happen for the people who really, really need it. We've been affiliated with, with Hometown Heroes for several years through Wendy, who's a board member. It's just a matter of that when the storm hit in late October, we sort of stepped up that relationship. It is a wonderful partnership because I think we have mutual interests. We want to make an impact in the local community. Uh, they have done an incredible job since since Sandy and continue to do that. And, you know, we're here to support them. And it's just been a, it's been a very good partnership, and we hope to continue it for years to come. At Town Square Media, we have raised over $40,000, I think it is, in other charitable events from ticket sales, from sponsors sponsorships that we've brought in that we've also been able to turn back to Hometown Heroes directly. So it's it's been a great partnership. It is so great to look around and see all the people in the community that give so freely of their time and resources. This gala was just twice the size, twice the fun, and you know, twice the money raised to help people. My name is Alessandra. I'm here at Hometown Heroes Gala 2013. I'm getting ready to perform, and I'm so excited to be here. It's an absolute honor. Well, you are mine. And I This is a great night for us because we're actually meeting the people behind Hometown Heroes, which we had to figure out who to partner with. And they are an established 501c3, which was the hardest thing for us to come down and find, was who's the established 501c3s. And uh, they're just doing incredible work. We, I was able to go in and interview with Mike, and it was just great to talk with Mike. He's so enthusiastic about Hometown Heroes. Uh, and as a founder and a president of it, it's just, just, it's just great to talk to him. Bill had uh, noticed the situation. And um, there are some people down under the lot, Seaside Heights. And um, these people were not living in a home, for lack of a better word. And through all of our contacts, we were able to help this couple get back on their feet. I really appreciate what Jennifer and Mike has did for us, and I'll always thank them for it. They helped us to get into the White Pearl, and they helped us to get off the street. We were really down and looking. You know, they, we couldn't ask for more from them. Just knowing that people, you know, don't have things and just they're on the street uh, that you know nobody should be living like that in the 21st century that we're living in so just to be able to give somebody things that we all take for granted is just something nice to do. I've known Mike for a long time and he's got a big heart and uh, myself and other folks in the community who have been successful through uh, hard work and dedication and giving back to the community um, again it's our honor and our pleasure to give back to the people that we live with every single day. I'm at the VFW and I hear this story about these two young ladies. They are 10 and 11 years old. And they decided on their own, not with their parents, by the way, this is all their idea, that they wanted to do something for Hurricane Sandy victims. So they became little bakers and they baked some cupcakes. So it got, it got a little crazy at some point. And uh, now you guys are over 10,000 cupcakes. 10,000 cupcakes. When we were doing a raffle, we were going to buy a refrigerator, and when they heard what we were doing, they gave us another $1,000 to help us buy another refrigerator for a family. Yeah, we also got to go on the radio with them. They helped us get 
more people to know about us and they helped us help more people. Proud is beyond our words. I, I don't know if I could really say how proud I am. You know, I think about it some days when I think about they did 10,000 cupcakes. I mean, who would have thought, you know, in our kitchen, they do it all. We're just the drivers. We drive around. They've gotten such a really nice response from the people when they do get the cupcakes that that really makes the time that comes out of each day and the deliveries and things definitely worth it. We don't think the night is about you know, honoring us or any of the organizations. It's about what we were able to all do to work with Hometown Heroes to help so many people. You can't even count the number of, of families uh, that, have, that have been assisted by the organization. And to play a small role in that for us, we're almost humbled by it. And we're just, we're delighted because it matches what our initiative is, and that is to make an impact in the community. And I think we've all done that to some extent. I just want to stress that we have a long road ahead of us and we need people to reach out and help us so we can continue to help the community. People can go to our website, njhometownheroes.org. They can call the office, 732-473-9400. You can donate um, your money. No dollar amount is too small. We have everything from children with lemonade stands to organizations or companies that hold huge fundraisers to us. You can donate yourself as a volunteer, as a professional, if you have any special skills. Um, there are many ways to be a hometown hero. Thank you, hometown heroes.